There's actually two tabs on here. There's a very thin clear one, and then there's an aluminum foil one. So when you get ready to do them, you kind of got to play around with it because when we start, we're going to start with the with the bread like we always do, and that's a clear one. And then we'll do the and then we'll do the the juice afterward. Um, so let's begin. Is that on or off? Okay. Um, it's so wonderful that we are able to not just discuss and, and do communion in our hearts, but actually do communion. So if you're watching on, on, on the video and you don't have your communion elements and you want to get it, pause it right here and, and we'll take care of that. And I'd say we're going to wait for you, but we're not. We're going, we're going to move on. Um, I love communion. I really do, because it's a great reminder for us of what it is that, that Jesus was about. And I know I just preached on it. But the reality is, is that this broken body and blood shed for us are significant. And again, we don't necessarily believe that these become literally the body and the blood, but the, the elements are so important for us just to reinforce everything, to be fully obedient to what our Lord has called us to do. When in the upper room with his disciples as they were celebrating the Passover meal, the scriptures tell us that our Lord took bread and he blessed it and he handed it out to his disciples. And as he was doing that, he said to his disciples, he said, uh, this is a covenant I'm making with you. Uh, this is my body broken for you. Rhoda, would you offer a blessing this morning for the, for the bread, for the body? Our Heavenly Father, we are so thankful that we can join today in this important ritual of our faith that represents your suffering and dying for our salvation on the cross. May we sense your presence as we join together with the bread and the cup. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So now take the bread and we'll eat it together in remembrance of him. Later on in that same meal, the scriptures tell us that our Lord Jesus took a cup, he offered a blessing, and he handed it out to his disciples. And again, he said, a new covenant I make with you. This cup is my blood shed for you. Karen, would you be willing to offer a blessing for the cup? So we're instructed to drink all of it in the name of our Lord Jesus. I know typically at this time we would sing a wonderful song. We're going to go do that in a few moments. I'm going to ask Bernie if you would give us the benediction this morning to close our service.
you would indeed add your blessing to the reading of your word. God, I pray that you would uh, continue to bless our time together in your house. God, I ask that you would give us a vision for the, for the moving forward of this church. And I know that you can do great things in the work of your spirit, and I pray that you would do that for this church. Thanks very much for Bill and Cheryl, Lord. I ask that you would continue to bless their ministry. 